Okay, so what I want to do is I want to continue decorating a bit the exterior before I move on. I want to just show you mega scans as a whole bunch of really neat items. Uh, and you can go get stuff that you wouldn't other get, otherwise get, you know. And whatever you do is if you download this, uh, again, tell students to use it wisely, not download absolutely everything they see. Uh, commercial, let's see what that would look like. Sticker. Well, that's kind of neat, but I don't know if I want that. So there's a poster here. Let's download this. I want to just show you that I can now drag it and put it on the wall. And I'm going to go and press F. So there it is. It looks pretty good. So that's what decals are. There's decals also in uh, materials library, I think. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> somewhere not there under objects maybe a lot, lot of areas to look so that's part of discovering about the software maybe it's under tools i know they're in here somewhere but so decals are a really neat tool i did i used them in the tutorial a while ago um you can even change this under A look at there's an area where you can or in poster I think it's here no well anyways you can also enlarge this poster using the uh, number nine tool I think so for now that's good enough okay so what I want to do is I want to also show you that there's some pretty neat stuff in Sketchfab that might be useful but what you need to understand is these are probably large and you need to use them very cautiously. So you see there's even a nice house, but you already are working on a house. So you, you're, you're kind of looking for stuff that might um, architecture. So again, I would tell students to use this very sparingly and carefully, okay? So, but let's, let's say I, I want to get something kind of funny people that'll be it has to fit remember you're creating an interior exterior decorating uh, item so maybe this motorcycle but there's already a lot uh, in the game and sometimes these are going to come in just massive so you see 1.6 megabytes is not too bad so what i'll do is i'll just drag this in so you can get a more custom look press the f key and you know i'm just going to leave it there i could put it in my garage or whatever uh, and I notice it's floating, so I probably want to use this key and put it in my driveway. I'm trying to grab that item in there and put it right there. Now I'll press the F key and make sure it's you know appropriately on the pavement and. In the library, as you probably saw, there's vehicles. Uh, you can go get, let's compare the motorcycle here. So there, you know, you got two motorbikes. One you got from Sketchfab, one that's already included in Twin Motion. So uh, I just want to show you that you get the same things as you get a little more choice, but you got to be a little bit more careful with the Sketchfab items. So what I want to do now is I'm going to just, I noticed I forgot to fix the water in my pool. So I'm going to go and do that. So this is what came from what I imported. So under materials, under water, which is down here, I'm going to add a nice water like that. So look at the quality of that material. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time doing this, but I think it's pretty obvious. What you can do now is interiorly decorate your house. So that is a big part of it. And what I usually tell students to do is decorate the kitchen, decorate the 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 living room, decorate maybe one room. Uh, you don't have to do all of them because uh, we're going to make a video at the end and they're probably not going to show every room because it takes too long. If you have time, that's fine. So let's just go home. Let's just go uh, living room. And I'm going to go and get a nice sofa. I'm just going to drag this one in. And maybe I'm going to go get a nice table. Right now, I'm just dropping anything. So this is kind of neat. And again, you can go get some of this on Sketchfab. 
Uh, you might want to even go get some uh, wall decorations. There's just a lot in here. So that's kind of part of what I'm looking for from students is how well do they organize their space? Do they, you know, put those little touches like this would not be good. Like, like look, it's just a little too big. Now you could shrink it and make it work, you know, with this nine key, maybe shrink it. So it looks like it belongs there. So you decorate the whole inside and let's say in the kitchen, maybe on the table, they're going to put some dress settings uh home living room kitchen let's go here maybe some food you know, a piece of bread etc maybe a couple appliances uh, no that's not what i meant accessories is what i meant a couple of tables place sets uh you know the other thing too that you can also do sparingly in your level is go down here add some characters preferably animated and let's just drop this person in because then when you film, it looks way better. You can use some that are not animated, but they kind of look a little bit odd. So I would prefer that you not use them. Uh, one thing that's also often something the students like to have, and I'll just show this briefly. So maybe they want either a driveway or they want a road in front of their street. So I'm going to go under objects, under primitives. And I'm going to use a 10 meter plane. So that's about the size of a road. And I just clicked on it. I made one. And then I'm going to try and make another one. You see it all. Very difficult to place. But let's say that's good enough for now. I'm going to go back to my library here. Here, I'm going to hit the... I get, now, maybe I'm making a road, so this would take a lot longer than what I'm doing. I'll place that. And right here. I'm going to lower it just a little bit. And you, we're having the same problem we had last time with our, with our ground leveling. So you can fix that, but I'm not going to do it right now. Cause, so maybe this is your road in front of the street. So, you know, that's one way to do that. And these are also these are also very useful if you wanted to because you for some reason in the house you wanted to paint a wall a different color. Oops, I don't want the hundred meter. I want the one meter one. And maybe I want this wall to be blue or something. Now I'm just showing quickly here. This you need to take your time to do this, but um, under materials go get the, the color that you want or the look that you want now it could be just there's one of these is wall covering i just have to remember where it is the brick wood stone wall covering there you go maybe you want this to be blue now again i because part of the problem is is if i place it on this it changes everything blue that's why you use that technique so that's a useful technique that you can use to decorate a wall uh, and give the look because the point is to decorate your house the way you feel. And as you can see here, I need to fix this because I did it way too quickly. So make sure as you do yours that you try to place them properly. Okay. So some tricks to help you decorate, decorate your whole interior, your exterior, recommend the living room, kitchen, and at least one bedroom and maybe one washroom. That way you have something to show. And walk around, get some little imperfections. You see here, I forgot to do the landscape, but I already mentioned I wasn't doing it. Uh, maybe I want to put some animals in my barn. Depends what you're doing. In my case, I didn't add anything too fancy because I'm doing it quickly. But maybe you want to go and add a boat over here. So under library, under vehicles, uh, and an aircraft, which is pretty cool. I don't see boats, but I know oh, there they are. Put a nice boat there. You know, maybe have this. So that way, when you do your thing, press the F key, you have all kinds of neat things that you can film and put into your level. Okay. So we'll continue uh, a little bit later on in the next video. So do this and um, maybe ask me if you have any questions, imperfections, et cetera. Thank you.